Hi, Emily. Thank you so much for joining me for the next episode of Be The Drop. And we're here in the lovely Adelaide Hills on a gorgeous sunny day. Thank you so much for joining me. It is beautiful. We've picked the right day for it. It's stunning. We sure have. <laughs> Now, to get things started, I always ask my guests to share with me an item of significance that connects them with their community. So, can I see you've got something there. I what have. have you brought along? So, this here is called The Ode to Netball. So, this is a poem that I wrote about netball. And the reason this is so significant to me is I actually wrote the poem when I was the last job that I ever kind of worked. Um, and that was a job that I wasn't enjoying a hell of a lot, but it really got me out of my comfort zone and they really allowed me to be creative. And so, that's when I started writing things um, um, and practicing my lettering because I needed a creative outlet because I wasn't feeling so happy. So this is the first thing I ever wrote before I even started Clever Hand or knew that I would start Clever Hand. Um, and it's something I'm really proud of and I did turn it into a print and it's been one of my best sellers. You've touched a little bit on how your handwriting and your prints connect you with your community. Can you just explain a little bit more about who your community is? Absolutely. So with Clever Hand, uh, my main community is people who are giving gifts um, and I'm really cultivating a following of people who are really thoughtful. So with Clever Hand, most of the work I do is custom work. So people can give a gift of, say, song lyrics for a wedding song, uh, first dance for a wedding gift, um, and they can completely personalise anything because I'm literally sitting there at my desk handwriting each piece. So with typography is something that's really in at the moment, but generally you can only buy a quote from a store and you don't actually get a say in what that quote is. So you might connect with it, but there might be something else that you want to change or something that really speaks to you. And I'm giving people the opportunity to, to have that quote in their home or having the names of family members or anything like that. Um, and it's just a lot more personal in this era where everything's kind of mass produced. I'm uh, really keen on, yeah, a bit more authentic and, and meaningful gifts. You've talked about having this really engaged community who's feeling part of your safe space. What is it that you think that takes them from being a part of that to actually motivating them to purchase and buying some of your prints? So Instagram was basically all I've had until a few weeks ago I only started my blog and it's, uh, that's going really well. So I started that as a newsletter where you can sign up on my website. Um, and yeah, that's, that's getting some really good traction and getting beautiful feedback from customers as well. Um, and I think, I'm, I know I personally love seeing the people behind the brands and that's why I started it. Um, and people often ask me questions about what I do and how I do it or they like the way that I live my life. And I thought, well, I'm an open book and I'll open it up to everyone to see and hopefully I can help people in the process. And there's been some people where it seems to have helped them already um, and that's what I want to do. Fantastic. So you mentioned your website as well. Is that where people go to order and are you sort of trying to drive people around that site? How does that work? Absolutely. So everyone orders through cleverhand.com.au. Um, so basically Instagram's my gallery of what I do and then you go to the website to place your order. Um, it's a really simple website to use and it's a bit of fun as well as um, showing you exactly um, what I do, how I do it, um, a bit of behind the scenes stuff on there as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun site. Definitely check it out. <laughs> Absolutely, listeners. There you go. The website address was there. Emily's given that to us, so have a look. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Emily. In conclusion, I'd like for you to share with the listeners your Be The Drop tip. So that's about your top communication tip for connecting with your community. My top tip for communication would definitely be to be yourself. Shop 100% as yourself because being yourself, you're always going to be consistent because you're not changing your message of who you are and or who you're trying to be. Um, really cultivate the kind of community that you want um, and what feels right for you. So for me, that's the accepting everyone, um, a place of love, meaning, authenticity, and that's what I try and put into my work as well. So tying that all in together um, and yeah, just definitely be yourself. <laughs> Fantastic. So be yourself and find that community that really resonates with your true self is how you recommend communication. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Emily. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you.